U.S. Army is looking for a new infantry fighting vehicle to accompany the A-1 Abrams into battle. The vehicle would carry a squad of infantry across the fast-moving battlefields of tomorrow, keeping them safe from enemy fire. Now three companies are preparing to throw their hats into the ring to produce what the Army calls the Next Generation Combat Vehicle NGCV. The NGCV candidates are being exhibited by their manufacturers at the Association of the U.S. Army Annual Meeting in Washington, D.C. By Systems is showing off the CV-90 Fighting Vehicle, General Dynamics, the Griffin Combat Vehicle, and Raytheon Orion Metal, the Lynx K-41 Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The Army wants to start testing NGCV prototypes in 2019. The BY CV-90 Mark IV is the latest version of the CV-90 family of vehicles. Originally designed for Sweden, in the early 1990s, the CV carried eight infantrymen and was armed with a turret with 40mm gun. The CV-90 is highly regarded in Swedish Army service and also serves with the Norwegian, Swiss, Dutch, Danish, Finnish and Estonian armies. The new Mark IV version of the vehicle mounts a 35mm main gun, a pair of anti-tank missiles, and an armored launcher attached to the turret, a commander's independent thermal viewer, artificial intelligence, and machine learning algorithms, and an 840 horsepower engine. That's 240 more horsepower than the Bradley. The second entrant in the NGCV contest is the Raytheon Green Metal KF-41 Lynx Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The KF-41 is a brand new design that's not in service with any standing army. The KF-41 features a 30 or 35 mm cannon, anti-tank missiles, and a modular design meant to support future vehicle growth. It also sports an active protection system to shoot down incoming rockets and missiles, and the Coyote drone or anti-drone system. The KF-41 is the roomiest of the three vehicles, as it is large enough to carry up to nine infantrymen in the back, and is equipped with a 1,050 horsepower engine. Finally, General Dynamics offers the Griffin Infantry Fighting Vehicle. The Griffin is a variant of the British Army's Ajax Reconnaissance Vehicle, and a previous iteration was introduced for the Army's light tank project. The Griffin IFB packs a 50mm turret-mounted cannon that can elevate nearly straight up, 85 degrees, to engage high targets in urban environments. The gun, as General Dynamics revealed to breaking defense, is tied to a shot spotter that will automatically point the gun to the source of incoming gunshots. All three of the vehicles are compelling in their own right. The KF-41 Lynx can carry a full nine-man infantry squad, but at 50 tons, it's pretty heavy. On the other side of the coin, the Griffin can only carry six soldiers, but then again, the Army might want the smaller and lighter vehicle. The CV-90 Mark IV is a proven design with an excellent track record that could probably be developed quickly.